everyone. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. It's Janet Wakeland here with video number seven, taking a look at the eight suites of products in the January to April Stampin' Up! 2023 catalog. Today I am honoring our new home here in Louisiana. Got a little festive crayfish going on and while it's not officially crayfish season that starts after the first of the year having a little bit of fun with some cajun creole country music and feeling the louisiana vibe here in the office today so merry christmas from down south everyone let's go ahead and flip the camera around and jump right into the enjoy the moment suite and as i've mentioned in previous videos the eight product suites aren't the only products in this catalog. In addition um, to the product suites, you're gonna find 31 bundles of products, and that includes the eight bundles that I showed you already, not the suites, but the bundles, and in this case, a bundle is either stamps and dies or stamps and punches, and so there are 31 of those in the catalog. There are 54 new stamp sets, 27 new die sets, five new punches, three new embossing folders, 15 new paper assortments, 17 new extras, the ribbons, the embellishments, small blending brushes, blending brush storage, and more. There are two host choices. There are over 245 full color samples. So I showed you just a very small snippet. Of course, this catalog goes through April, so you'll see lots more. And then during my catalog launch party, um, January 7th and 8th, you're gonna to see tons more. So again, this is the catalog I was referencing, but let's jump right into this product suite. This is another one that I call happy just because of the colors being bright and fun in this suite. So you have a stamp set and dies as part of this suite. You have coordinated baker's twine. You have some fun enamel elements that you can use on your products and you have some beautiful paper so let's start first with the paper so you either have the moon setting that way or the moon setting this way they're both beautiful and it can be hard to choose the side same thing here you've got your mountains in the green or the mountains in the glow of the beautiful highland heather we've got some more scenery scapes this here so you've got clouds and then it's kind of like the aurora borealis um, you can see those lights swirling here and then you've got the clouds below you can look at it this way and think of this as water um, flowing i can't wait to piece this together with our beautiful new realistic um, sea turtles and i think that that will be a lot of fun beautiful variegated um, or ombre um, forest look and then we've got beautiful kind of mountains and things like that. And then when we flip it over, we've got some great coordinated papers that work well with the prints that are on the other side. The colors in this, well, not every color, again, can be found in our core cardstocks and inks. So we have Highland Heather, Coastal Cabana, Starry Sky, Pumpkin Pie, melon mambo and garden green so you're going to see those as the core color card stocks core color ink pads that you might want to consider having in your crafting stash to create with this paper assortment and of course other paper assortments that are out there so let's pull the stamps and the dies in and let me give you some tips regarding the stamps and the dies and we seem to have a heavy shadow today and i'm sorry about that we have just really drizzly horrible weather i was I'm out on the boat just a couple of days ago in flip-flops and shorts, and now we're in the 30s. So it's kind of that crazy winter time right now in Louisiana. So it is very, very gray out there. So I apologize for the shadows. And this is what I was looking for. And I've got some pieces that are die cut already. But let's just put all of our pieces out here so you can take a look at them and you can see them. And I can explain kind of what they are because every now and then you'll get this die and you'll be like what the heck is that for what does that do especially one that maybe doesn't coordinate with a stamped image right and so um just kind of play around with them for you to kind of give you an idea what they're for and what you can do with them and in the case of this um die bundle 
There's only a few that cut out images. The rest are just bonus images to enhance all of that natural looking um, scenery type papers. So in this case, we do have, and it's probably tucked in somewhere, there it is. We do have a die to cut these trees out. So you can cut the forest out. If you line it up right, Janet, they'll cut out just fine. And then you're gonna be able to cut out these beautiful wildflowers. So you have those ones to work with. And then you're gonna have some clouds. You're going to have a bonus little extra um, fauna piece, kind of leaves and things that'll create some more dimension for you. You have two pieces that layer together to give you dimension on your little pup tent. And if you've ever slept in a pup tent, give me a shout out below. I know we have. So if you've ever slept in a pup tent or you're a tent camper, give me a shout out below. You have a moon. You have um, a dirt bike rider. And then you have this element here that when you look at it, you're like, well, what do I do with it? Well, let me pull in a couple of pieces just to show you. You can, you can depending on how you use it, you're gonna get all different types of rocky outcrops um, bottoms, okay? So depending on how you layer it and work it across, and I guess it'll just show up just fine directly on the table. So depending on how you work it, again, you're gonna get these different bottoms and there's no endless pieces for that. So you have these, okay? And that's what this piece is gonna do for you is to create a variety of bottoms. And you just gotta kind of take it and kind of move it across your cardstock depending on how you want it. Cut long or short ways, you're gonna cut you know, lower across an angle. So you're gonna have some fun creating different bottoms or rocky outcroppings is what I'm calling them. And then you have this interesting piece here. When you first look at it, it actually, let me turn it around in my hand, it actually just looks like kind of a, be a golf club, or for me, it looked like something that you would put at the hole to mark the hole if you were playing croquet or something, or golf. And I was like, what is that? Well, you have this image of um, the camper holding the lantern. You can cut the lantern off very easily, and then this goes in their hand to create a walking stick. And thankfully, Stampin' Up! had a sample of this. This is the one sample that I've cased from the catalog. Casing means to kind of copy the image that you saw, and in this case, I copied the image right from the catalog. It's the first one in the series that I've copied directly from the catalog so far. But again, it really highlights that walking stick really, really well. And I love the greeting mountains of thanks. I think that that just really kind of conveys the depth of that greeting mountain of thanks and the silhouette of the black against it. And then there's that pretty twine. So there's our first sample showing you that. I love this starry paper. Just love, love, love it. So for this bottom here, I just tore three pieces of the designer paper. And you've got the piece with the trees, a little bit of the mountains here, a little bit of the sky. You belong among the stars and tuck that greeting down, a little moon. I had a scrap piece of the retiring glimmer paper and I just thought it was perfect and it conveys the message, you belong among the stars. And then not all um, of our like dirt bikes and motorcycles and things like that need to be brown and black. Look at this in pink, isn't that beautiful? This is the polished pink. I'm so inspired by your courage. So I've got a, a special friend in mind with that. So whether it's actual dirt biking, whether it's just, you know, People ride their bikes off road. Um, they have those wider tires and they do the trail riding and things like that. So you have that. Then looking at the florals, that's just a piece of the paper. Color to uh, kind of pull out those colors just to note. And then a little piece of the, the floral, the country lane gingham paper. Kind of pull those back in. There's another set called Picturesque, and that set is an absolute great set to add on to this suite of products because of the greetings that are in it and the additional landscaped images that are in it. And that's where the word press on came from. I have quite a few friends that run, run marathons. Actually, I had two 70-year-old friends just run the Berlin Marathon. More power to them. I'll cheer you on the whole way and I'll pass out water. <laughs> but um, I just thought that this was an encouraging one that the images here 
that is also from the press on stamped in pumpkin pie right on the paper. So created a little view out the window. So I took and um, die cut a frame with the stitched rectangles, embossed it with the timber, and then just cut it at the corners and put it back together. And the reason why I did that is so that I would have those breaks like you would see on a frame. We're in this together. And so we just have a beautiful, simple, using that moon image coming, or sunrise, I guess that would be a sunrise, right? The other one would be a sunset and one would be a sunrise. Good old fashioned shaker card. And if you're not familiar with how to make shaker cards and you wanna learn, just comment below going, teach me shakers. And we'll add that to the list of requests based on the cards you've seen in the suites that we'll make for you. And so a little bit of twinkling stars, shooting stars, We've got our little tent there, and again, adventure together. And then lastly, this one you already saw once before. It does use the retiring washi tape and just a beautiful greeting. May the dreams you hold dearest come true and the kindness that you share come back to you. So a beautiful greeting that's coming. And then we've got some sequins and that just really shows off the print. So another really versatile sweet that's coming so hopefully you guys found a little bit of inspiration this afternoon thanks for tolerating the shadows and we have one more great sweet left for you and i will see you back here tomorrow at 2 p.m guys happy holidays merry christmas